Hey guys, I share back in the video. So as you can see, I have my ESP32 over here. So what I'm going to today do is install the Taskmota web server application onto our ESP32. And basically that allows you to control many sort of different things on your local network via the ESP32 board. And this basically act as a local web server. So, so any devices connected to your same home network can access the device and control it accordingly. So this is pretty good for your home automation projects. And this is almost a no code processor. So I think I haven't encountered to code a single line yet so that is pretty nice as well for beginners and stuff as you can see i have my external antenna mod over here so without wasting any time let's get started now as i've said before this is a very simple process so all you have to do is just connect your usb cable to your esp32 just like so and connect the other end to your computer and then head over to our computer to program it okay so after connecting the esp32 to our computer you have to head over to the taskmota website which is taskmota.github.io and here you have to click on this web installer over here you can install the application of the taskmota itself on your computer but the web server makes it a lot easier so just uh, select your version it is available in so many languages as you can see so for me i am just going to select the taskmota in english now in the next section we have to select our board as you can see we have several options over here so in this particular case we are using the esp32 so so I will select that and then click on connect so this will open up this small dialog window over here and I have only one USB connection right now which is COM port number 5 and I know that it is my ESP32 I will just select that and click on connect now in my ESP32 the task mode is already installed so it is showing this over here but for a fresh install you will just need to install this task mode over here so just click on that and it will erase the all the data which is on this device so any program that you have running on this ESP32 will be erased naturally so we'll just click on erase device and click on next and we will get the final confirmation so just click on install so the installation process first includes the erasing part and then it will start uploading the code to the board so now as you can see it says installation complete now we can click on next and connect our Wi-Fi so it will do a quick scan and then find the network available in your area just make sure that the device you are going to control it with has the same Wi-Fi connection so I'm going to just type in my password over here and then click on connect and if you have done everything correctly it will just say device connected to the network so right now you what you can do is just go ahead and click on the visit device option this will open up a new tab and here you can see we have the main menu for the task motor. and here you can see we have the IP address of it as well so if you have any devices connected to the same network you can just type in this IP address and get this menu over here so for starters to test it out I'm just going to do a simple test so what I'm going to do is just go to the configuration and then click on configure module and what I'm going to do is just simply turn off and on the onboard LED on the ESP32 so it is connected to the GPI open number two and what I can do is set it as a relay so it is right over here as you can see I will set it as a relay at one this will basically add a switch to our main menu which we can tap on and tap off to control it so once you have done that you can just scroll down and click on save and right now it says device will restart in a few seconds and once it has restarted it you will be directed back to the main menu so just uh, don't do anything for now as you can see right now I'm redirecting to the main menu and you can see I have got a toggle button over here so if I want to toggle on and toggle off I can just simply press that and do that so I have zoomed out at my laptop right now to show you how it actually works so as you can see toggle is currently off if I tap it once then you can see the onboard LED turns on and the response is quite good as you can see it almost immediately turns on and off because these are all on the same network so you don't have that much traffic going on in between so there you guys that's how you can install and test out your task motor on your ESP32 board so thanks for watching the video guys hopefully you find this video helpful and if you have any doubts or comments regarding this video you can comment down below I will try to answer them as soon as possible so until then, I will catch you all in the next one.